Tune into Nice Radio every Saturday at 7:30 a.m. for A View from the Outside, hosted by Brayton Horn. A View from the Outside takes a look at key issues affecting St. Vincent and the Grenadines and gives a global perspective on how these issues are viewed. Host Brayton Horn will examine a variety of topics to enlighten, stimulate debate, and explore solutions. Hear the facts, hear the real life stories, hear a view from the outside. Join Brayton Horn at 7:30 a.m. every Saturday on Nice Radio for a view from the outside. On a view from the outside this week, this week being the 18th of September 2021, we look at distraction, with the view being that Vincentians ought to be encouraged to stay the course, focus on the issues which are pressing and need urgent attention, focus on the issues for which answers need to be provided. Do not be lured by distraction after distraction, which are designed for social control but remain focused on the issues, remain on course for the benefit of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. The Collins Dictionary states that a distraction is something that turns your attention away from something you want to concentrate on. That definition tells us that a distraction is something which is used by others to turn our attention away from something which we want to focus on. That something, that distraction, which is used to divert or draw our attention away, could be a news story, political, salacious, or otherwise. It could be a political stunt, or it could be a deliberate lie in some cases. Thomas J. Cottle, a sociologist and licensed clinical psychologist, in a 1993 journal article entitled The Art of Distraction, said, It is generally acknowledged that those with the power base, including government, depend on our need to be distracted. Other political commentators have said that politicians use distraction to serve their sinister and selfish purpose and that they use distraction to disrupt public attention and also to silence dissent. It is with that definition in mind, as well as the opinions of political commentators, that we, here on a view from the outside, encourage Vincentians not to be distracted or fall for the distraction of those with the power base in the country. It is precisely for that reason that we say ignore the distraction and stay on course. Ignore the distraction and focus on the issues which are pressing and need urgent attention. Ignore the distraction and focus on the issues for which answers need to be provided. We say, do not be lured by distraction after distraction, but remain focused, remain on course for the benefit of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. In order to remain on course, it is necessary for us, Vincentians, to ignore the distraction of a newspaper or social media article especially those that purport to tell us what is trending in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. In order to remain on course, it is necessary for us, for you, for us, Vincentians, to ignore the distraction of a newspaper and social media articles, especially those that purport to tell us what is trending in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Ignore them, because you know what is trending. Continue to highlight the need for the regime to provide accountability to the people of the country. Continue to demand accountability 
for the $95 million plus dollars which the Director of Audit has reported is missing from the nation's purse. Do not forget to highlight that the $95 million plus dollars is up to the year 2015. Mention that because it is clear that the regime continues to refuse to provide up-to-date accounts of the nation's finances. Do not fall for their distraction. Continue to demand accountability for the donations, grants, aid, loans, and, and all received to assist Vincentians during the volcanic eruption of Lasso Frey. Continue to demand that all those who were displaced and affected by the disaster need to benefit from the generosity which others have extended to the country at its time of crisis. The distraction of a newspaper or social media article purporting to provide accountability for the disaster funds should not sway you or divert you or divert your focus away from your continuing demand for accountability. Stay focused. Let the regime know that no distraction from them will stop you, stop us, from demanding accountability for the construction of the Argyle International Airport. Let them know that no distraction will hinder you from demanding accountability for Petrocarib money. Those loans of hundreds of millions of dollars, which the nation seemingly did not benefit from, and for which you, the Vincentian taxpayer, is obliged to repay. Do not let the distraction of the scaremongering and intimidatory tactic or talk of buying body bags and freezers stop you from exercising your constitutional right to protest. Protest does work. Let it work for you and for St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Do not let any distraction such as combat gears, new gears, hinder you from demanding an end to police brutality in the country. Police men and women are sons and daughters of Vincentians. They have brothers and sisters, aunts and uncles, and other relatives in the country. We are all Vincentians. Continue to make the call for those in authority to stop the brutality of their people, our people. Do not let any distraction prevent you from highlighting the injustice taking place in the country. Continue to highlight the injustice to Yogi Farrell, Bigger Biggs, Marcus DeFreitas, Dr. Wayne Murray, his wife Simone Murray, and their family, and all of the others who suffer the maliciousness, the vindictiveness, and the callousness of the ULP regime. Do not let any distraction stop you from continuing to demand justice for all in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Your demand for justice for Anna May Lewis has already yielded fruits. Your outcry forced the prosecution to drop the charge against her that she wounded Prime Minister Dr. Ralph Gonzales. The headlines relating to that are evident around the region and the world. Do not fall for any distraction. Continue to demand justice for Cornelius John. Always highlight the fact that he reported that Senator Ashel Morgan, a ULP Senator and Deputy Speaker of the House of Assembly, along with Karim Nelson, the Deputy Director of Public Prosecutions, and another man trespassed on his private property. He alleged that they threatened him, beat him, and shot him in the leg before fleeing the scene. He alleged that Ashel Morgan, threatened him at gunpoint, and that Karim Nelson shot him in the leg. Yet he, the victim, faces criminal charges. Do not let any distraction stop you 
from continuing to point out that whilst his case is yet to be decided by the court, grave injustice is revealed in the stark disparity of the police investigation pertaining to the treatment of the victim, Mr. John, and the seeming protection afforded to those accused, in particular to Ashel Morgan. Continue to demand justice for those who had members of the Black Squad with assault rifles and other guns on display searched their homes and wantonly arrested and charged them simply for having exercised their right to protest. Demand justice for Corinne Ballantyne, Adriana King, Kenson King, Colin Graham, Tyrone James, Luzette King, Robert Patches Knights King, Joseph the Silver, Carly John, John Mofford, Casper G, Sherry Ann Kane, and others. Do not let any distraction prevent you from highlighting the corruption and the corrupt practices taking place in the country. Let them know that it is time for a cleanup and that you are fed up of the international headlines that St. Vincent and the Grenadines is notorious for money laundering. Let them know that you are fed up with the country's purse being always empty with extreme poverty touching the doorsteps of most Vincentians, while few live in opulence and are purported to have millions of dollars stashed away in bank accounts overseas. Do not let any distraction prevent you from highlighting the failed projects of the ULP regime or projects with which the regime itself is associated. Projects including the geothermal project, which failed spectacularly, leaving behind significant damage to the ecosystem. Projects including the mass band project at Roseau, which lies in ruins. The failed cross-country road, which is mockingly described as having a beginning and an end, but no middle. Projects such as the failed fishing complex at Owea. Projects such as the Black Sands Hotel project at Mount Win, which shows very little or no progress in its development for what seems like an interminable length of time. The failed housing or, and or public health policy where citizens are forced to return to the red zone after a natural disaster with no proper structural checks and clean up of their homes and with no clean water supply. Do not stop highlighting the failures and the decline in tourism and do not fall for the distraction that it is all because of COVID-19. It is not. Do not stop highlighting the disrepair of schools and the unsanitary conditions in which many of the schools have to function. Remind them, remind the regime of the exorbitant registration fees which parents of students entering secondary schools, some who live in extreme poverty, must pay. Do not let any distraction stop you from making the call to put an end to the festering dynasty in the country. Do not let any distraction stop you from lambasting the other ministers of the regime for sitting like lame ducks, allowing one man to speak for them every time. Do not let any distraction stop you from telling them enough no more let them know that the people will not forgive any of them for showing no fortitude and for not standing up for the very people who voted for them let them know that they are failing miserably let them know that what they show are definitely not the qualities of a leader 
Do not let any distractions stop you from highlighting the regime's failings in agriculture. And farmers who once enjoyed their independence have been forced into extreme poverty and have become the recipients of poor relief. Many believe that the plight of the farmers who were once such an independent and formidable group, many believe that their plight was deliberate. It was a deliberate ploy to take away their formidability and their independence. Do not let any distraction prevent you from speaking about the high unemployment rate in the country, especially the high unemployment rate among the youths. And do not let it stop you from pointing out how many of these youths and their families exist in extreme poverty. Whenever they come with a distraction, remind them of the escalating crime rate in the country, where murder and other serious crimes are spiraling out of control. Whatever distraction they come with, they must be reminded of the poor state of health care in the country. So poor is the state of health care that there is always a chronic shortage of basic medication and supplies. So poor is the state of health care in the country that those in the echelons of the regime do not use the substandard facilities available, but instead they fly out to avail themselves to the best treatment while the rest of the country have to be satisfied with what is provided. So poor is the state of health care in the country that the Prime Minister himself chose to fly out to Barbados to get an MRI scan for what has been described as a minor injury to his head. Imagine that in this day and age such a scan is not available in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. So when they come with their distraction, remind them of all of that. There are so many more issues which we, here on A View from the Outside, can highlight. However, time has run away from us. And so, we turn the discussion over to you, for you to continue it with your friends and family. Remember, in the face of any distraction, to continue to highlight the issues affecting the country. The time is right and proper. The time is now to ignore the distractions. As you continue the discussion, stay focused and unwavering and do not be swayed by the distractions. As you do that, ponder on the words of the distinguished American linguist philosopher, historian, social critic, and political activist, Noam Chomsky, who said, the key element of social control is the strategy of distraction that is to divert public attention from important issues. Until next week, Justin and all of the listeners, this is Britton Horn with a view from the outside, with a reminder to send feedback as usual to a view from the outside at hotmail.com. We invite you to visit and like our Facebook page at A View From The Outside and to subscribe to our YouTube channel at JMB Horn. Justin, you and all of the listeners have a pleasant Saturday, have a wonderful Sunday, and have a productive week ahead where you make the effort to ignore the distractions and highlight the issues affecting the country.